previously heard Drop Dead Nasty, I was a little worried that their potty mouth punk rock wouldn't jive well with our audience. They played a subdued set, however, that turned out to be really musical, and kicked off and set a tone for a fantastic night of music. The tunes alternated between vocal and instrumental, the former upbeat and poppy punk songs, and the latter ranging from surf to kind of a sludgy stoner metal. Drop Dead Nasty left the crowd impressed, and me wanting recordings of the material. professionals who know how to throw a rager of a party. During their performance, everything seemed to come so naturally to them. Flawless playing, excellent tone, witty banter, and genuinely entertaining stage antics. On top of all this, their originals are dynamic as any other group I've heard, and were peppered with a few choice covers. Of course, after the stomp, these guys are heading to Mexico, and then California later in the year. With as good a group as they are, and a dedicated work ethic like that, I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to be hearing a lot more about King Pelican in the near future. Stomp marked the third time returning for the South's favorite luchador mask wearing horror surf trio, Genki Genki Panic. I'm convinced either a deal was made with the Prince of Darkness himself, or perhaps a bottle of spirits, because they were completely on fire. A little over a year has passed since I've gotten to know and become good friends with the band, and can honestly say I don't believe I've ever seen such development and growth in any other group. Their new material is more cinematic in scope, and remarkably powerful in a live setting. <laughs> 